Have you ever held a secret you weren't supposed to share or stumbled upon insider knowledge before anyone else? That's the thrill of knowing something big. Take this for example, that's not just a good looking car. The Model Y has been the world's best selling car for two years in a row. Did you know that? But it also hides a lesser known secret that most people are still blissfully unaware of. Some might say that gap between the unknown and the known is called opportunity. Want to see the future? Come with me, I'll show you. Before I share some mind-blowing comments from Elon Musk in a recent interview, it's no secret that Tesla have been working towards fully self-driving cars for years. To say it's been a difficult challenge is an understatement, but I believe Tesla is finally on the cusp of making this a reality. If you're willing to examine the evidence I'm about to present, you might also realise that Tesla is the only company with the manufacturing capabilities, advanced AI and real-world data to deliver true autonomy at scale, and with it the opportunity of a lifetime. Put simply, 99.99% of people still don't get this about Tesla. What you are watching is a Tesla demonstrating its full self-driving supervised technology by successfully navigating the chaotic Arc de Triomphe roundabout in Paris, a notorious 12-lane traffic circle with no lane markings or traffic lights. The FSD system handled the complex, high-traffic environment flawlessly, showcasing its ability to manage unprecedented driving conditions. This matters because it highlights Tesla's progress towards robust autonomous driving, boosting confidence in its upcoming robo-taxi service. More on that in a mo. But what's this? A right-hand drive Tesla successfully demonstrating its autonomous capabilities around Melbourne in Australia and managing to carry out what's known as a hook turn, where you turn left in order to go right. I guess all countries have their quirky ideas. Over on X, myself or possibly one of my adoring impersonators says, how will FSD handle Britain's dumbest designed offerings? I have a feeling we'll know soon enough. You don't think that Tesla are already testing FSD on Britain's roads, do you? Tesla is preparing for future FSD deployment in the UK, albeit we most definitely won't be one of the first to get unsupervised FSD due to our infamous regulatory processes. So what obstacles are in the way, other than time itself, to get to this autonomous future where we'll have the choice to sleep, work or entertain ourselves whilst road tripping, commuting or riding in a robo-taxi? What we need is scale. And would you believe it, Tesla have cleverly kitted out every one of their cars with the hardware necessary to make them fully autonomous. Remember when I mentioned the world's best-selling car in the intro? That's its big secret that barely anyone understands or takes seriously. Every Tesla produced today is a robo-taxi of tomorrow, a money-maker for its owner, a more affordable, safer means of travel for its occupier. This really will disrupt the auto industry on a scale we've never seen before. My, my prediction is that probably by the end of next year, uh, we'll have probably hundreds of thousands, if not over a million Teslas uh, doing self-driving in the US. Well, not the cyber cab. You're just talking about on full self-driving, level four. Unsupervised full self-driving, right. meaning you do not need to pay attention. Right. For, for me, if I own a Tesla and I have the software and the capability of doing it. Yes. We'll have a model which is kind of like uh, some combination of Uber and Airbnb. So if, you, if you're a Tesla owner, right. uh, you'll be able to add or subtract your car to the fleet. So just like an Airbnb, you could like rent out your spare bedroom or rent mm -hmm. out your house when you're not using it. And uh, the same thing will be uh, available for Tesla owners. Right. So it's a way for Tesla owners to earn revenue. For, instead of having your car sit in the parking lot, it's your a... car could be earning money. So let me get this straight. Not only do Tesla owners get the pleasure of driving and owning subjectively the best, most efficient and fun, safest vehicles on the road that can currently drive themselves in some countries under supervision, of course, and if you are fortunate enough to have solar panels at home, you can fuel it for free. But once unsupervised FSD is approved, Tesla owners will be able to add or subtract their Teslas to the robo-taxi network, earning you passive income while you sleep. Or even when you're at work. Imagine that. That's an opportunity to be taken seriously right now. Everyone's Tesla has robo-taxi potential. Cha-ching! We, we talked, you and I talked about that a couple of years yeah. ago, which takes me back a bit because, of course, I mean, you remember 2019, you were talking about 2020, the introduction of autonomous, and now you just introduced a fairly somewhat ambitious target. Why do you have the confidence now that, what was it, in a year, there'll be a million available? Well, in, in, by the end of next year, I think. End of next year. So it's more like 18 months. 26, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, I think that's, I mean, these things happen slowly, but then all at once. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's uh, Peter Thiel has a book, Zero to One. Once you make once you have a proof point, once you have it working, then scaling up uh, is, you know, just a matter of time. For anyone paying attention to Tesla's solution to autonomy, you might have spotted that Tesla cars now drive themselves out of the factory and park themselves miles away, having to navigate busy areas full of random vehicles and pedestrians. 
This is happening at Fremont, California, Giga Texas, and more recently Giga Berlin looks to be implementing it too. How many people even know this is happening, I wonder? We also learned recently that Tesla employees in Austin and the San Francisco Bay Area are testing a supervised robo-taxi service using the Model Y vehicles with FSD, completing over 1,500 trips and 15,000 miles to validate the system ahead of a public launch in June. And finally, there's nothing quite like first-hand evidence, which really was my hallelujah moment when using FSD in a Cybertruck last year, and that was the old version 12. Version 13.2.9 is Tesla's latest version, which leaped ahead of the one I tried. And Tesla are preparing for FSD version 14 and unsupervised FSD, starting with the robo-taxi service in Austin, in a matter of weeks. The evidence is building, advancements with Tesla's autonomy are moving fast, and I really think people are in for a major shock as Tesla's come alive all over the world. A flick of a switch, and we're in the era of autonomy. So once it's working well in Austin, we'll make sure it works well in other cities. A Tesla that you buy right now, and, and the self-driving just costs $99 a month, will give you autonomous driving anywhere in the country right now. The question is, when, when is it unsupervised? Right. Uh, where that, that's, that's where we right, want where to... you're sitting in the back, so to speak. Where yes, the... where you're like asleep yeah. uh, and a car, you wake up at your destination. Yeah. In order for that to be the case, we, we want the autonomous car to be much safer than a car driven by a person. Right. Are we, but, are, you know, again, I'm come, I'll come to Waymo because even though they only have about 700 cars, they obviously are on the market. They're, uh, they're in Beverly Hills sure. all over the it's place. A proof, it's a proof of concept. They've got 28 cameras. They've got LiDAR and radar. You've had a different approach. Six, I think, eight to nine cameras and the neural network. Why do you feel that that is going to be the equivalent in terms of safety profile? Oh, I think it'll be better. Why? Uh, because the, the way that the road system is designed is for AI. Uh, it's basically, it's, it's, I should say, it's, it's for intelligence, uh, biological neural net, and eyes. Uh, that's how the whole road system is designed. So what will actually work best for the road system is artificial intelligence digital neural nets and cameras. And uh, we, we also have the microphones, the car can hear emergency vehicles, and that kind of thing. Right. Um, you are going to have the microphones to hear the... the yeah, you yeah, need to hear... that was a question. That, right, you need to hear a fire engine or a police car. Yes, exactly. Right. So that's how the whole road system is designed. It's uh, not designed for shooting lasers out of your eyes. And what we found is that when you, when you have multiple sensors, and they, they tend to get confused. So do you believe the camera or do you believe the LiDAR? Mm -hmm. And if they get confused, that's, where you can, uh, that's, that's what can lead to accidents. So we used to have, for example, a radar in the car, but we found that the radar and the camera uh, would sometimes disagree, and then you don't know which one to believe. So it wasn't about expense, it was just about... No. Are you seeing the data in, right... In fact, we turned off the radars in the cars. Are you comfortable right now? If I were to say to you, all right, let's go, do you think that you're there in terms of the safety profile you're seeing right now? Yeah, we could, we could take a ride today if you want. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm happy to take a ride with you anytime right. you want, wherever you want. Um, was it me, or did you notice a little bromance attempt there? Anyway... Waymo is at a disadvantage because, unlike Tesla, it lacks the massive production scale, high profitability per vehicle, and cost efficiencies from vertical integration, extensive real-world FSD data from millions of cars, and an optimised electric vehicle platform, making it harder for Waymo to compete in the autonomous driving market. I just can't see a way that Waymo can survive the future if Tesla continues its relentless push towards a global robo-taxi network. Do you ever license, consider licensing the technology? Yeah, at some point. I mean, there are a number of uh, major automakers that have talked to us about licensing self-driving, and um, we're very much open to that. The more we demonstrate the capability of self-driving, the more that they will want to license it, and we're, we're happy to help. But when we deploy the cars in, in, in Austin, we are actually going to deploy it not to the entire Austin region, but only to the, the parts of Austin that we consider to be the safest. So we will geofence it. You will? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's not going to take intersections unless we are highly confident it'll, it's going to do well with that intersection. It'll just, it'll just take a route around that intersection. But there won't be a safety driver in the car. Correct. Right. The car, it won't, there's not going to be somebody sitting there. Right. Whilst the legacy autos are trying to catch a breath, catching up to the realisation that the future is indeed electric, they will soon realise that Tesla is leapfrogging them once more with self-driving cars. This is a widely unknown point that people, understandably, sceptically dismiss. If you understand Tesla's solution to autonomy, the fact that it's a simple over-the-air software update away from the millions of Teslas currently on the roads, plus Tesla's ambitious scale to manufacture cyber cabs, the ultimate affordable efficiency machines, and don't get me started on Optimus, where the same vision-based AI drives humanoid robots 
you realise Tesla's unparalleled advantage is scaling autonomous technology across vehicles and robotics, leveraging its vast data, integrated manufacturing and cost efficiencies to dominate both transportation and automation markets. You might say that's a huge opportunity. Don't say I didn't warn you. Check out one of these videos next. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patrons. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.